Hello, dear friends. I am Dr. Bansi Sabu, diabetologist based in India. I am first of thanking Morocco Diabetic Association and my great friend, Dr. Jamal, for giving me an opportunity to talk on a very important topic on artificial intelligence in management of diabetes. I have no financial disclosure for this particular talk. We know that if you want a second opinion, I think at this point of time, I will ask my computer on the internet. And this is what the artificial intelligence, I'm thinking that the future will be like this, that a person will be dependent for many of these things and the AI will give the answer. And the latest one is the chat GPT is a real answer for this AI. AI is seen as most disruptive technology. The successful app publishers are generally more bullish about this new technology. What is this artificial intelligence? Let us try to understand that what exactly meaning of AI. Artificial intelligence is the field of computer science that is associated with the concept of machines, thinking like humans, to perform tasks such as learning, problem solving, planning, reasoning, and identifying the patterns. And that is what we call it artificial intelligence. It is a technique that enables computers to mimic human intelligence. It includes machine learning. A machine learning is a subset of AI that includes technique that enable machine to improve a task with experience and it includes deep learning. A deep learning is a subset of machine learning based on neural networks that permit a machine to train itself to perform a task. So artificial intelligence starts with deep learning and a predictive analytics that gives you the machine learning. It also have a speech where text to speech and a speech to text. It also have an intelligence of an image recognition and a machine vision. It can have a language processing in an NLP where it can classify, translate, and a data can be extracted. It has expert section systems. It have a planning and optimization. And then there is a robotic and this all includes, all these fields are included in artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, actually, we are surrounded by it at this point of time. The Google gives you all the information. The Siri gives you all the information. The Amazon gives you all the information. These are the information which we give, we, which we get every day. That is what artificial intelligence. Everybody is talking about it and you can't escape it. Because if I see from 1987 to 2017, you can see that the number of people and uses for the artificial intelligence are increasing. But the number of published article on a Google Scholar that includes the terms diabetes and artificial intelligence, you will be surprised. In 1997, there were hardly few, maybe one or two or five, ten. But in 2017, that has increased to 10,600. So I mean, the published article, when I use the word, the diabetes and intelligence together, you can see the number of publications are huge. So artificial intelligence in healthcare market during the forecast period from 2019 to 2017 also had a significant increase in number from 2019 last one decade. An AI system is able to do reasoning it is also able to do the natural language processing, which ability to read and understand and respond in human language. It gives you the information of planning, which is ability to act autonomously and a flexibility to construct a sequence of action to reach a final goal. And it gives you machine learning, which have an algorithm that improve automatically through experience. The artificial intelligence triple play in healthcare. It have cost impact. It has operational impact and it has business impact too. So it actually have a benefit for the cost point of view. The operational is so fast, it is uh, engaging the patient and the members very fast. And as far as business is concerned, it's create distinctive healthcare solution and increase healthcare savings too. The digital health product consists of wearable sensor with wireless communication with smartphone to receive the information and software to process the information. Digital ecosystem is a data-driven tools that can link people with diabetes and their care terms, enabling precision management of diabetes. 
So there are four ways of artificial intelligence, that deep learning, a deep learning algorithm, like that can detect a heart arrhythmias, ECG signals with a better uh, accuracy than a cardiologist. We know that ECG gives with a full phase uh, uh, interpretation. The deep learning like retinopathy is a one example of that diabetic retinopathy, which can scan and can give you the answer like an ophthalmologist or retina specialist is hearing it 90% accuracy. And AI powered control center in John Hopkins uh, allowed staff to assign ED patient to inpatient uh, beds in 30% faster. And the prayers such as Atena use 350 machine learning model for security and combat fraud. So these are the health evolutions which have happened in artificial intelligence. In diabetes, where they can help. So in a diabetic patients, if I put the different wearable devices, which includes from a headbands to the earrings, to the skin page, to the belts, to the body sensors, to the socks, to the so multiple things in a digital diabetes healthcare system, I can monitor them. I can monitor heart rate, I can monitor respiration, I can monitor blood pressure, temperature, SpO2, cardiac stress, activity, calorie burn, fur, fitness, heart rate variability, brain activity, easy, sleep, glucose, abnormal movement, and weight change. So multiple things in a person with a non-communicable disease or a metabolic disorders or a diabetes, I can monitor all of them. So diabetes digital health ecosystem have a wearable device data. It can be publicly available device data also, electronic health record, social online data. And all these will give you a digital therapeutic platform through which I can come with a patient-centered outcome. Because of my machine learning and artificial intelligence, we can come out with a, a data which will be really useful and can give you the important information and there could be therapy can be decided on those data too. So artificial intelligence with a foundation, with a problem, with a AI is asked to generate the pattern for each outcome based on a big data. And there is a training which a human teaches the program with the help of gold standard test. And that's how this data can be useful data can be used for a artificial intelligence. This is a deep machine learning and this intelligence problem solving, which we help for our diabetic patients. In a diabetic patient's artificial intelligence, diabetes, hypoglycemia prediction and management, and the best example is the insulin pump. These new insulin pump, which continue with a continuous glucose monitoring, in advance, it can predict that now the uh, there will be hypoglycemia and insulin delivery can be minimized. It can be again restarted when sugar comes back or when it starts increasing. The insulin management in an artificial pancreas with a 780G is the best example of uh, artificial pancreas, which we are using artificial intelligence in diabetes management. The personalized OHA recommendation, this is what the precision medicine. The personalized diet education program can be done, which is part of precision medicine. The patient education and counseling can be done now. We had seen the robot. You can just you teach the robot everything about the education. You may not have the educator in your clinic and that robot will be giving all the answer to your patients, to their family members, and they can counsel, they can educate. And every time the patient is asking you a new question, they will have the answer. If they will not have, you can educate and the next patient will be educated on that basis. The target organ assessment, even with this data, which is coming on a software, which can also give you that this person is going to have this particular problem or in future, there is a possibility of this organ damage in a diabetic patient, and now you take care of this particular thing. If suppose your prescription is not fulfilled with that particular medicine, which requires to protect, like if you are not putting the lipid lowering agent as per the target, or you are not able to give the medicine which is going to reduce the risk of renal failure, or there is a microalbumin and macroalbumin positive where you are not writing the medication, it will give you the information for that also, so that artificial intelligence will give you your computer or your software that you write this particular medicine. The automatic detection of diabetic retinopathy. Now I think we have moved with the you know, ophthalmologist in our diabetes clinic. Now our diabetic retinopathy detection system is so powerful across the country in India, I can tell you that almost each diabetologist is using a AI-based a, a diabetes uh, retinopathy detection camera 
in their clinic and this camera will give you the complete information about that and 90% of the time we are accurate. Unless you want the patient to uh, be referred for a retinopathy management, then and then an ophthalmologist or retinopathy, a retina specialist is required. Otherwise, the screening can be done in our clinic and that's what automatic detection of diabetic retinopathy. The other where we are using is image processing for diabetic foot problem. And we are also using for the purpose of uh, ECG interpretation, even a primary care physician in distantly clinic, they did not require, we used to use the telemedicine, the patient ECG used to come and we used to read, but now with AI, it is automatically interpreted too. The artificial intelligence for a hypoglycemia, for a prediction, for prevention, and for insight, that it gives with a continuous glucose monitoring, and we can find that if patient is going for a hypoglycemia, or a hyperglycemia too. This is one app which is developed by Medtronic Sugar IQ, a mobile farm app which integrates with the Guardian Real CGM. It powered with Watson AI system from IBM. It tracks the influence of diet, exercise, activity, treatment, time of the day and location. It gives you detailed trends and a hypoglycemia can be predicted. It requires CGM twice a day calibration from glucose meter and a manual entry of food items. It shares data with healthcare provider also. So you can have this data can be uh, uh, simultaneously can be given to the healthcare provider too. And this is what with a, in a Medtronic system, you can have your continuous glucose monitoring and even it can use the prediction for hypoglycemia too with this help of this application too. We are also using these sensors along with pump two to know that when they are going to develop the hypoglycemia and now the advanced pumps are like this that they get the hypoglycemia, predictive hypo alert at that time the insulin is stopped and patient actually does not go in hypoglycemia. The older pump was actually, they were stopping the uh, pump when the hypo alert was coming like this and the patient used to go in hypoglycemia. But now you have a system like this that before even a threshold, they give you the alarm and patient insulin can be stopped. So this is the a uh, closed loop hybrid pump and we are lucky that in India this 780Z is available, this insulin pump with continuous glucose monitoring and software and we are using it for our patient without getting hypoglycemia 90% of the time they are in time and range. The insulin dose adjustment patients who are not on pump also can be used with this application with a decision support system and that also gives you the sufficient information in a form of AI so patient can use the optimal dose of insulin and it also have a smart alarm for a prediction of hypoglycemia too. AI powered digital endocrine logist is a dream aid, is a one of the software which is uh, started from Israel and it's a fantastic way of using the insulin for type 1 diabetic patients whether they are on pump or whether they are not on pump. And they give you so much advice to the patient who are on insulin pump, SMBG, CGM for their basal rate, for their correction factor, for the personalized tape, as well as for insulin carb ratio too. The personalized medicine is what? The clinic-based category, we know that we have three varieties of patients with have h one relatively well controlled, very much uncontrolled, and moderately uncontrolled. You can integrate the data and you can find that these and the patients can be divided into different clusters. They can be have cluster one, two, three, four different varieties of type two diabetic patients. And accordingly, we can precisely treat. We can also decide that who are the patients who can go for the MODI, who are the patients who are type one, who are the patients who require more insulin or more intensive therapy. So the precision medicine is a precisely that particular patient who is to be treated in a very, very personalized way too. And that all is possible only through with the artificial intelligence. Even a personalized nutrition, which is possible because this gives you not only the blood test, the microbiome, the questionnaire, the anthropometrics, and a food diary. And this will give you a personalized nutrition predictor. And that will also give you the information in a such a way for the diet that this particular diet is going to increase how much glucose level. And this is the designing a personalized diet for a better glucose control and for a lower glycemic response from the different food items which the patient is using. The glycemic index in the era of personalized medicine, a different subjects have different glycemic response to the same food. 
the anthropometric parameters, dietary history, microbiome properties from stool samples, genotyping and continuous glucose monitoring data of few hundred individuals are fed to special computer program which can recognize a subtle pattern and make algorithm to predict a glycemic response for a precision medicine approach. Once the machine learns the pattern, it is possible to predict the glycemic response to community level and to classify food into good and bad with facial, with fecal microbiome sample, anthropometric data, and a basic genetic analysis too. The food for one person may be poison for other. It may be good for one, but for other, it could be very bad. It can give you multiple glycemic variability. So that sort of a precise a food nutrition, a prediction of a glycemic response can be done only with the help of AI. The AI have a comprehensive patient education and behavior intervention. This is one drop AI system, one more app, which gives you the information not only for the glucose, nutrition, the diet, everything is in one uh, application. This is one, the ECG analysis, which we use regularly for our clinic patient, for our primary care health center, for distantly, for a rural area. And even a, a technician can do the ECG and can also give you uh, whether the person is having any ECG changes, atrial fibrillation, or a, even a coronary event, anything can be detected with this. This can be detected through the app and it is not only that even it can be detected with our uh, watch also and that is what the apple watch is detecting your ecg with a single lead ecg you can find out and you can know that whether you have any variability or not so with this machine learning can predict 10 year cardiovascular mortality from the electrocardio only and this is in paper which is published with a conclusion machine learning can be applied to demography and ECG data to predict 10 year cardiovascular mortality in ambulatory adults with potentially important implication for primary prevention and this is the uh, this thing by which you can find out the machine learning that how it can help for the patient there is a automatic detection of hypertension also using a physiological signal that gives you that whether a person is having more risk of systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure, whether it is high or low. Even the systolic dysfunction, the AI application are also impacting other imaging modalities in cardiology, particularly for the echocardiography, which can be used for diabetic patients too. The artificial intelligence offers significant rate of remission for type 2 diabetes compared to standard care. And this year, last year in 82 uh, American Diabetic Association meeting, this was published and this paper, which was type 2 diabetes reversal, and where we were the part of some of the us from India were the part of us. And we had published this paper on a reversal of diabetes too. And you can see that how it had helped our patient to achieve from 8.8 .8 to 6.9. And from 9.4 uh, percentage of patients who are achieving from 9.4 people were only achieving 6.4. Now more than one third of them patients were achieving in 90 days only the HVLC less than 6.5. One more paper, artificial intelligence predicts the progression of diabetes kidney disease only by using a big data machine learning. So only who are the patients who are going to develop DKD, even AI can uh, detect that and who are progressing for that too. The AI for DKD is very, very helpful and it can help in prediction and prevention of worsening of DKD too. There is a combining artificial intelligence and footwear which improves the diabetic foot treatment. And you can see that even in the insole, the all the where the pressure is there accordingly on insoles they can change uh, their pattern of walk and how they can prevent the diabetic foot ulcer too so this diabetic foot imaging is completely on an ai based and they can use the insole in such a way that it will help for their pressure area detection and it can also help for their offloading too even ai is only as good as the data it because that's what if without data it cannot have so the data once we feed it it gives you the all information about the AI it improving the diabetes care it improving the uh, risk of hypoglycemia is decreased it improves for the diabetic foot problem and even diabetes and cardiovascular disease too so the technology is the amplifier of our intellectual whatever we are intelligence which we are putting inside the computer it gives you the information in such a way that it amplifies your knowledge and it amplifies in such a way that even if you are doing alone you are hundreds of the persons who are uh, 
who are not knowing about that particular thing, they can also get the information through your AI business. With this, I thank once again for giving me this opportunity and giving me a, a wonderful topic to talk on, which I also enjoy. Thank you.